हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द डिप्लोपिया सी डिप्लोपिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके इन द डिप्लोपिया यू हैव टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिप्लोपिया वन यू हैव क्रॉस्ड डिप्लोपिया second you have uncrossed diplopia so where do you see crossed diplopia crossed diplopia is actually seen in divergent squint whereas uncrossed diplopia is seen in convergent squint so let us see what is crossed diplopia what is uncrossed diplopia right first we will see uncrossed diplopia so that is convergent squint so here in the right eye there is squint right eye there is squint okay see sorry convergent squint so both are converging right both right eye and left uh, left eye both these are converging so this is the um optic disc okay so that is retina you can say that it is retina in the retina we have two parts this is the nasal retina this is temporal retina this is again nasal retina this is temporal retina now the fibers will come from the nasal part of the so this is converged so these are the nasal reti nasal uh, visual field or you can say nasal visual field now this is visual field think that it is visual field it is better now this is the retina okay now if it is the nasal visual field now what happens okay sorry you can even you can even tell it like this okay we will see it like this okay so this is the nasal retina this is the retina okay, this is i in the i we have retina okay so this is the visual axis visual field okay these are the visual fields okay now if you see the nasal retina will what does it where does it produce the nasal retina will produce where does the image of the nasal retina produce the image of the nasal retina will be towards the temporal side so right eye image is towards the temporal side whereas the image of the left eye nasal retina will be towards the left eye temporal side so this is left eye so here see the images are not crossing each other so as a result this is called as uncrossed diplopia so let me draw the same image for divergent squint then you will get a little more clearer impact in, in, information so if you see divergent squint here the eyes are away from each other like this diverging okay now now we have again the same thing this is nasal retina this is nasal retina temporal retina temporal retina now here you have visual fields okay this is visual field this is visual field now see the nasal retina of this eye see this is the temp see this is the one so here the visual field so, so this eye here the fibers are in the nas uh, temporal retina now the temporal retina the image from the temporal retina here the image is produced like this okay the image of the this is the right eye okay this is the left eye the right eye temporal retina will produce the image to the nasal side right so this is the nasal side so this is the nasal side where you see right eye image whereas left eye will produce the image to the temporal retina so this temporal retina will produce the image to the lateral uh, visual field sorry nasal visual field so it is the left eye image so if you see you can cross you have seen that the images are crossing each other so has a result this type of diplopia which you see here is called as crossed diplopia thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching